Step 1. Necessities. Check whether you received the necessary items. The set you received should contain the following items. An extended instruction, two dry blood spot kits, one return envelope, a blood test form, short instructions and labels. The test form has already been partly completed by your physician. Please complete the form with the time and date of your blood samples, as well as for the last time you took your medication. Take the DBS kit out of its packaging, open it and put it on the table. The DBS kit comprises of the following parts. A blotting paper, a collection panel, blood sampling channels and a closure clip. Step 2. Preparation. Wash your hands carefully with soap and warm water. Warm water helps to open up your veins. Wave your hands for better blood perfusion towards your fingers. Massage your fingers so a larger blood drop will form after the finger prick. Choose the lancet which suits you best. Green, yellow and pink lancets are provided. Pink and yellow lancets will work for most people. Reserve lancets are supplied in the set. Step 3. Blood sampling. Follow the provided sampling scheme. First sample blood directly before taking your immune suppressing drug. Next, take your immune suppressing drug. No blood sampling is needed in this step. Please record the time when you took your drug. After this, sample blood at the prescribed time points after taking your medication. Please record the time when you take your blood sample. Sampling of blood. Open up the lancet by twisting out the pin. Place the lancet on your finger and push the button. A small hole will be pricked in your finger, which will start bleeding. Wipe off the first blood drop using a tissue. Wait until a fairly large second blood drop forms. You may massage your finger slightly to form the blood drop, but don't press too hard, as this will influence the results of the measurement. Bring your finger towards the DBS kit. Choose an unused blood sampling channel. Fill the channel completely with blood. If the channel is not fully filled with blood, apply your finger a second time to fill it completely. Close the DBS kit shortly after filling the channel with blood to prevent the blood from clotting and not forming a proper blood spot. Close the DBS kit for at least 15 seconds. Make sure the blood is completely transferred from the channel to the blotting paper. Repeat the preceding steps for each sampling time point. Use a new and unused channel for each sample. For each time point, a new finger prick is needed to obtain fresh blood. You may use a different finger for each sample. If a sample fails, just pick another unused channel. Register which blood spot corresponds to each sampling time point. Failed samples can be marked with an X. If necessary, Use the spare DBS kit provided to complete all samples. If you experience problems with sampling, please contact the clinic or laboratory for troubleshooting. Step 4. Preparing for shipment. Mark each blood spot with corresponding sampling numbers and close the DBS kit. Place a small label with your information on the DBS kit. Complete the blood sample form and fill in the time points when you sampled your blood. Place the large label on the sample form. Put the DBS kit and completed sample form in the return envelope. The return envelope can now be posted. Your physician will inform you about the results of your blood test. 